Are you ready for the comeback? You know we don't want that. Ready for whatever, we gon' have to show them some man. Let me see them hands up all the way from back. You don't understand that I'm doing what you can with no cap. Ha! This is the return of the one. You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums. They been ready for the battle, any person that comes. Got the weight of the world on them, yeah, they're too strong. I might have been down, not out. It's on sight, you gon' figure that out. And I might have been down, not out. Only one thing I gotta know now is are you ready for the comeback? Yeah. Are you ready for the. Alright, guys. Day before the classic. We got media day. And uh, hurry up and wait right now. We're gonna have everybody coming through, getting photos, getting interviews, stuff like that. And uh, yeah. I think it's, it's that time that you're starting to get anxious. We had the Night of Champions last night, but Texas in June, you know, it's actually pretty much Texas in May because the season's so far behind right now. But this is, this is what we all worked hard to get to, so we definitely want to take advantage of the opportunity that we have. You know, it's, if the water's up, it's about almost four foot high over a full pool, so we got a bunch of trees and bushes in the water. Uh, there's going to be an offshore bite, there's going to be a topwater bite, there's going to be a flipping bite. So a lot of things are going to play this week, and uh, I really think it's just going to really come down to who executes and makes the right decisions. Uh, landing five good ones every day is going to be a big deal. Uh, I really don't, I mean, someone's going to catch a big tag, but consistency overall at this place is going to be a big deal. We got pretty consistent weather from here on out, so that's going to help things stabilize. Uh, we had some rain earlier, earlier in the week, so I'm just excited because, you know, it could have been a completely just nothing but an offshore bike. So, still leaves a shallow deal, you know, for guys like me. I think we can make it work. We're going to, you know, try like hell to get it done. I'm excited, so we'll see what happens. We'll see you tomorrow, day one.
do. Better have it. Hit it.
I might have been down, not out. It's on sight, you gon' figure that out. And I might have been down, not out. Only one thing I gotta know now is are you ready for the comeback? Yes! Yes! Day two, Bassmaster Classic. We are sitting in a truck, waiting to take off. Well, because of this right here, nasty, nasty squall line, uh, pretty much just developed uh, overnight. I uh, wasn't really expecting this, so Bass is having us wait it out. We're not launching our boats yet until that's over with. So that's gonna change a lot. <clears throat> a lot of guys are catching them early. I did not catch him early yesterday, so I feel like it's kind of playing into my favor. I don't really like all the lightning. I feel like that'll kind of screw him up, but we're all in the same playing field, so um, it's going to be an interesting day. It's going to be a day that you catch him, and you're going to move up the leaderboard uh, a lot, so we got a good opportunity today. Got to capitalize on it. Um, so yeah, it's been a crazy year. This is the way the year has gone all season. Got my dad calling me. Uh, I'm gonna grab this, so when we get on the water, I'm gonna see you guys after a bit, hopefully catch some big ones. Let's go. Hello? Uh, they're gonna postpone the thing, aren't they?
juice. That's a wrap on the 2021 Bassmaster Classic. We are we made it home and we didn't get to fish day three because we missed the cut. We ended up finishing 26th overall, which the top 25 fish the third and final day. And we missed the cut by three ounces. So that stings, definitely disappointing. Disappointing for me because of the way the event shaped up. It was uh, definitely something that I favored, the conditions, the way, you know, shallow flipping bushes. And I just, guys, I messed it up. That happens, that's fishing. That's why we keep coming back to it. But that day two, you know, I didn't make the right adjustments, but at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna have a chance to win, even if I would have made the top 25 cuts. So I think that's probably the thing that, that really comes back the most in my mind from this event. Um, and I remember from last year's event at Gunnersville, the classic there as well. It's almost like, like that last bit when you realize like, it, it's done, like you, you do, do not have a chance to win a trophy, to win the Bassmaster Classic. That really starts to set in and I get, get pretty ticked off, <laughs> not gonna lie, because we put so much into this. But at the same time, before the event starts and even in the Elite Series events, in practice, I often find myself thinking or when I get into a place where I'm like, you know, you're stressing out, you're trying to figure out what's going on. I find myself thinking someone is figuring out the deal to win this event. Um, someone is going to win it eventually, right? But right now, someone's figuring out how to do it. 
and you know, same way with the classic. We were going through practice and I flipped bushes and I knew, I, I mean, obviously the water's up that high, we knew that's what was gonna play. That's the cool thing about fishing overall. Everybody is on an even playing field to begin with and you know, that's what keeps us coming back for more. I may never fish a Bassmaster Classic in June on a Texas lake that's flooded that you get to go flip bushes and potentially win the Bassmaster Classic. But this situation will come back later down the road and hopefully uh, I'll get to put it to good use. And after the day two weigh-in, I, I was interviewed, basically just wanting to know what advice I could give to young aspiring anglers. And it's to be really good at failing. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's the truth because y'all have witnessed it time and time again. We fail way more than what we succeed. But the, the thing is, is you gotta take away why you failed. Because at the end of the day, fishing is not like any other sport. You're gonna fail way more. The amount of wins that you have compared to failing, finishing second, finishing last, doesn't matter, is way, you do it all the time. And being really good at it means that you're really good at picking up and learning from those situations because that's all fishing is, is situations. And the more situations that you see, the more situations you put yourself in, the more times it allows you to fail so you can try different things, you're going to succeed. Like you're going to see those situations again and you're going to know what to do. So I'm looking forward to a bush flipping tournament in the future because this one got me. That's probably the biggest thing. Be good at failing and capitalize on your opportunities when they come around. So, you gotta live it 24 seven. Dream, believe, pursue. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like the video. Please like it and stick around. There's gonna be more because guess what? We have to qualify for the 2022 Bassmaster Classic and we only have two events remaining and you're gonna see it all in the 24 seven series. So stay tuned guys, thank you.